Hello guys and welcome back to Fortify Solutions. So today in this video we will see the RIP configuration. So uh, start करने से पहले मैं आपको four steps बताती हूँ uh, RIP को configure करने के लिए या किसी भी protocol को configure करने के लिए. So uh, आपको कोई भी configure करना तो सबसे पहले हमें you have to make the topology. So first step is to make the topology. And the second step you have to assign the IP address. So second step is to assign the IP address. IP address. And third step is we have to do the actual configuration. And the fourth step is to check the connectivity. So how we, we will check by using a ping command or by sending a packet. So the last command is to check the connectivity. Okay, so let's start with the first. First we will make the topology. Okay, so let's start. So I will take three routers and then we will take three switches and take PCs then when we will do the cabling Okay, so uh, we completed with the first step uh, that is to make the topology. So our topology is ready. Hai. Next, we will assign the IP address. So uh, we have a five networks. Okay, this is one network, this is second network, and this is third. This is the fourth network, and this is the fifth network. So we have to give the IP address accordingly. Okay, here I am giving 192.168.1.0, and uh, here. 10.0.0.0 where I will give 20.0.0.0 and 192.168.2.0 here I will give 192.168.3.0 so now we will go on the first router and we will assign the IP address okay so no now we are in the user mode go to the privilege by using con now we will go to the global configuration mode. So now we are in the global configuration mode. So now go to the interface mode. That is the FA00. Okay. And we will give the IP address. That is 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask. So to assign the IP address on a router, so that command is IP space address and we have to give the IP address and, at that, uh, and after that we have to give the subnet mask. And now, uh, jo router ki ports rahte, by default shut rahte hai, hume unko up karna hai by using a no shutdown command. Okay. So we will assign the IP address to PC0. That is 192.168.1.2. And the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Okay. Now we will assign to the IP address to PC1. That is 192.168.1.3. And 192.168.1.1 will be our default gateway. So now we will go to the router 2, second router. And here we will uh, provide the IP address to this link. Double click, go to CLI. And start with the no enable to go to the privilege mode now we will go to the global configuration mode and here we will go to the interface mode that is interface fa00 and next we will give the ip address that is 192.168.2.1 the subnet mask 0 and no shutdown okay so give the ip address to pc2 that is 192.168.2.2 and the default gateway will be 192.168.2.1 go to PC3 and we will give the IP 
यहाँ पे हम देंगे 192.168.2.3 एंड 192.168.2.1 ओके सो वी गिवन द आईपी इन दिस लिंक सो नाउ वी विल गो टू द राउटर थ्री एंड नो फ्रॉम यूजर टू प्रिवलेज मोड इंटरफेस एफ ए जीरो जीरो एंड द आई पी एड्रेस विल बी वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट थ्री डॉट वन एंड द सबनेट मार्स विल बी टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो एंड द नो शट डाउन डन सो नाउ वी विल गिव द आई पी टू द पी सी फोर दैट इज वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन will be our default gateway so go to the pc5 and here we will give that to the second pc 3.3 and the default gateway 192.168.3.1 okay so now we configure this uh, this network second network this and the third network now we will provide the ip to this uh, this networks like uh, in the serial links so we will go to the interface sc0/0/0 and we will give the ip address that is a 10.0.0.1 and the subnet mask is 255.0.0 and here we will give the clock rate why we will give the clock rate basically this command is used to set the clock rate on a serial link so even we can configure the uh, clock rate on the both end but this command will be only accepted on the bce end सो so, हम क्यों सेंड कर सेट uh, करते हैं ये सो so दैट uh, ये चेक करते हैं कि हाउ मेनी बिट्स कैन बी सेंट ओवर ए गिवन टाइम सो अगर आपने यहाँ पे सेट किया है सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड सो यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू सेंड फास्टर दैन द सिक्सटी फोर की बीज ओवर द इंटरफेस वी कैन चेंज दिस क्लॉक रेट बट बाई डिफोर टाइम गिविंग द सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड सो दिस इज द रीजन ऑफ टू गिवन द क्लॉक रेट एंड सेकेंड इज नेक्स्ट कमार इज नो शर्ट डाउन ओके we will give the ip to this link that is sc00 of the second router so go to interface serial that is sc00 and we will will give the ip address that is 10.0.0.2 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.0 and the no shutdown so we have another interface on this router that is sc001 so let Let's go to the interface sc zero slash zero slash one, and here we will give the IP address twenty dot zero dot zero dot one, and the subnet mask will be two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero, and here we have to give the clock rate that is sixty four thousand, and we'll do the no shell command. Done. So now go to the third router. Here we have to give the IP to the serial interface. IP address. IP address will be twenty dot zero dot zero dot two, and the subnet must be two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero, and no shutdown. Okay, so now we completed with the second step that we assigned the IP address, and the next step will be we will do the actual configurations. So now here we have to do the rip. We are doing a rip configuration. So here we will do the rip. Okay, so for the rip. We, What is the syntax? We have to use the router syntax is router and rip, and after that we have to given the network and IP address. So this is the syntax to do the actual configurations. So that can configuration is possible on the global mode. So ah, here we have our two network. Ah, we have a two network that is a one dot zero and the ten dot zero. So here we have to give the two network. On the router one, and on the router two, we have to give the three network that is ten, twenty, and the one ninety two one sixty eight dot two dot zero. And on the third router, we will give the two that is a twenty dot zero dot zero and the one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot three dot zero. So let's start with the first router. Go to router, and we have to exit from the interface mode. Now put the command router, and question mark. So here we have to do the rip. Okay, so rip done. So next we have to give the network that is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero, and the second network we have a ten dot zero dot zero dot zero done. 
will do the end and right okay so now go to the second network uh, second router and here we will give the three ne uh, three network let's exit from the interface mode router rip network 192.168.2.0 we have a network 10.0.0.0 and we have a network 20.0.0.0 and and right okay so now on the third router we have a two network 20 and the 192.168.3.0 so now go to the router exit from the interface mode and to configure the we have to type router rip and network we have a 192.168.3.0 and uh, network 10.20.0.0.0 okay. so end and write so we completed with the third step that is the actual configuration now we will check the connectivity by using a by sending a packet so let's check the connectivity So see it's communicating okay so to check you can use the command show ip protocols so here you will get like your ip protocol is rip and the update time is 30 second and the routing for network is 10.0.0.0 and 1.0 and we have the routing information source like there is a 10.0.002 that is the next hope and the 120 is the uh, administrative value and the last update from the 23 seconds okay so i hope you got the idea how to configure the rip so that's it about this video so thank you